Welcome back, friend. Here we are on January 11th, or sorry, 12th. <laughs> January 11th was yesterday. January 12th, and what we're doing today is mm, looking at two of my favorite gates. I have 64 of them, by the way. And we have now made through 11 full days, which 11 to me is a power number. Um, in numerology, it really talks about being a power number. Now we're into the 12th day. So let's just take a look at today's activations. And I want to continue to um, reiterate that we're still in an empowerment theme because there's two channels here that are really, really asking us to take a look at our spectrum of empowerment. Where are we disempowered and where do we feel empowered? Okay. And it's has a lot to do with our thinking. That's what it's telling us here. And it has a ton to do with how are we actually using our personal energy, our personal power. And for anyone who does not have the sacral center defined, which is 30% of the population, you still have energy. You still have your own personal power. And when, when, when you are tapping into someone else's energy as a projector, you want to get really clear. So what I, what I see the sacral center as, I see it as this cosmic battery. And you've heard me say this before. I get it. It's called a motor in human design terminology. I totally get that. But for me, it is this uh, battery that's sitting there. And then the projector comes along and puts on the booster cables. Now I'm leaving out the manifestor aspect and also the reflector aspect because manifestors have that repelling energy field, right? Those innovative types have that repelling energy field. And it's not bad. That repelling is, is allows them to be so creative. And then the reflector is more of a um, Teflon. And they're evaluating. So they just got to let stuff flow off of them. And those two types are actually more so connected with the movement of the transits, such as we're talking here. However, when I talk just about the sacral center and those projectors, it's like putting on the booster cables onto a battery. You got to be aware. Who are you hooking into? Is there actually juice still in that battery? Or when you hook in, explodes in your face. So personal power, you have it. We all have it. Every, every um, type has it. It's just really where, where are you connecting in? What are you, what are you connected to? If it's the transiting field, are you letting it dictate your life or are you utilizing it correctly? That's where we're going through this. So that in 2022, everybody, all types, every human being can actually transcend to a new level of awareness. So two of my favorite gates, the eighth gate, which is all about contribution and the basic worth realized in contributing individual efforts to group goals. Empowerment really is when we are contributing to that group. We feel empowered because other people then step into their truth, step into their wisdom, step into their differentiated being. So when we contribute to that, it feels very empowering. Not only are we empowering ourselves and having that sensation of empowerment, but we're also empowering those that are around us. Okay, so the eighth gate is like, mm, they are the PR person. So in a small organization, small group, the, the eighth gate or a soulpreneur like myself, when there's passion around and purpose around um, what the contribution is, you're selling or upselling or being the PR for that particular product or service or organization. 
So it's that contribution, holding together. You know, we're designed to come together. That We're not in this alone. We're in this big, huge soup. And then the 13. Well, why do I love the 13? The gate of the listener. Universal ideas and values in an ordered framework which inspires humanistic cooperation. The fellowship of man. We have forgotten that. We have forgotten that. We have been conditioned out of the fellowship of man. I look at even just my, my short 46 years on this uh, earth plane. And I grew up in a really, really, it was a hamlet. It was a very, very small, tiny little space. And this tiny little hamlet that we grew up in like we had no other, like we had to be with each other and this fellowship of man, humanistic cooperation, that's what the little community did. It was like this well-oiled machine. I like, I, I remember it like it was yesterday and yet it feels like it was a distant, distant past. And I will tell you that I, I see pieces and parts of that at times but now the distance of people, people are so distanced, not only due to the propaganda that's happening in the last two years, but we've forgotten to listen to each other, to actually hear each other. And mostly, I'm gonna say this, mostly what, what's been going on the last two years is the, the conversation around fear. Those that have the, the jab are, are, are fearful that they will get something from someone else. And those that don't have the jab are fearful of the jab because they don't know what's in it. And it's all based on fear. And I will tell you that, um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm watching from the outside right now. I don't want to get too involved in it because they don't want to give it the energy. I know that the cross of planning is falling away. So I am doing my best to focus in on the cross of the sleeping phoenix and moving in that direction for that individual empowerment and empowering my tribe to actually be who they are meant to be. Instead of fighting against the cross of planning crumbling, because we all know it is, move into that individual empowerment. And I will tell you, I have... I've been in design for 10 years, and this is one of the most powerful setups these first 21 days into this uh, closing off the 2021 year and moving into 2022. So what are the questions you want to ask yourself? What are you, what are you not hearing? Or what are you hearing from people? Where are you contributing? Where are you not contributing? You just, and there is no judgment here, zero. You just want to be aware. What is the contribution to humanity, to the fellowship of man? We're all gonna, we're all gonna, it's all transitory. Your meat suit's gonna fall away. This is all going to pass just like everything always passes because that's what the 3635 tells us that no matter how hard we try to, you know, lock in life, it's impossible. It's transitory. You know, you might earn $100 and spend $150. You might eat a bag of chips today and defecate it out tonight. Everything is transitory. Like right now it is winter. We've had nothing but snow and cold weather. And, oh, but I know that that's transitory. It will move, it will shift. So lean deeper into what's your contribution to humanity at this moment? Where, where do you actually visualize? What is the movement that you're going towards? What does your journal, what are all the awarenesses that the journal has been 
saying to you, are you listening? All right, friends. Day 12, we are, we are cooking here. And uh, again, empowerment, empowerment, empowerment. Get clear. What's disempowering? What's empowering? Are you in your creative muse? Do you feel stifled? Where's the freedom in all of this? Okay. So play, laugh at yourself. I definitely laugh at myself in my journal a lot. It's all good because it's all transitory. So don't take yourself too seriously. And let's just go on. All right. See you tomorrow.